anybody has been to Columbia, the first thing you see are our libraries. You see Lowe Library, you see Butler Library. What people sometimes don't realize is why it is we have so many of them. And the reason is because information's growing. So the Freedom of Information Archive is the world's largest database of declassified documents. When the Freedom of Information Archive first began, back in 2013, the government created some 90 million new secrets. Over the years, there's been exponential growth in official secrecy. We realized that if we could begin to aggregate those collections and put them into a single database, we could begin to discover things about history, and we could also begin to discover things about government secrecy. The idea is that we can use data science to accelerate the review of sensitive information and accelerate also the release of information that doesn't need to be protected. Anyone can access the project by going to historylab.org. Once you're there in our website, you'll be able to search through several collections of declassified documents. We've put together a set of really powerful tools that give users the ability to use the cutting-edge technology coming out of data science to explore that archive. Knowledge is power. As we move forward, it's very important that we share our knowledge with each other, particularly if we're seeking a world where all of us can share in its wealth. Collaboration is key. More and more, Columbia Libraries is becoming a place for making and doing. It's a place where Columbia professors, students, librarians, archivists can come together and build things. The Freedom of Information Archive is one of the things that we've been able to build because of the Columbia Libraries, because of the space that it provides and the platform that it has provided for all of us to support these kinds of projects. Columbia Libraries, through projects like the Freedom of Information Archive, is showing the way for libraries all over the world. So it's all the more important then that Columbia Libraries, and I hope more libraries, begin to see that that mission of collecting government information, making it available to the public, is more important than it's ever been before. We are thinking about the larger infrastructure of knowledge around the world. We must constantly innovate and constantly change in order to adapt, especially now during the digital era where these new forms present new challenges. Libraries will be there right at the avant-garde trying to make sure that our present today is there for the future.